ओके श्रीकांत लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर टॉपिक नाउ ओके सो आई होप दिस फायरबल पॉलिसी कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर ओके हाउ टू वर्क विथ फायरबल पॉलिसी और हाउ टू क्रिएट फायरबल पॉलिसी आई होप दिस आई होप दिस टॉपिक इज क्लियर फॉर यू दिस वन श्रीकांत वी कैन फोकस नाउ ऑन नेट कॉन्सेप्ट टूडे let's a start our discussion on nat so any idea about nat shrikant can you help me nat is to like uh, from the traffic when from our uh, land traffic going public internet then we will map the ip to us to other ip address okay With, we can uh, Okay. Yes, we can map our IP. Yes, yes. Please continue. With the public IP. We can map our private IP address with public IP. Okay. So in NAT we have multiple options: static NAT, right? Dynamic NAT, and pad concept. Can you please tell me? It's a CCNA concept. Can you please tell me what is the difference? What is static net, dynamic net, and PAT? Any idea? Static net is like uh, what I said before. Means uh, we are say we are mapping the IP address, the LAN IP address with the public IP, which is static IP. Dynamic net we will assign the range. See, uh, if you translate private IP address into public IP address, it's a NAT concept. It's not a static net. it's a nat only okay with nat you can translate you can translate one ip into another ip private to public public to private or private to private public to public doesn't matter okay nat we are using for translation clear my point shrikant yeah clear static nat static nat we are using for one to one translation okay if you are looking for one to one translation then you can go with static net okay. what is that okay let's let's discuss a small scenario okay let's revise our uh, basic net concept so here we have a l3 device router device you can say this router is connected with this lan switch and in in lan lan side we have multiple computers wait multiple computers so this is your private network ip address i am using 192168101010.11101013 now this portion this portion is a public portion public portion isp site so in your private network in your private network you are using private ip address and this portion is what public portion so in in case if this private ip address or you can say this private machine this private ip address is trying to communicate with internet services or is trying to go on internet side public network side so this machine required public ip because in in your land you are working with private ip addresses so if this machine is trying to access internet services trying to go on public side it's a required public ip so you need to translate your private ip address into public ip into the scenario okay like uh, like web server right I mean static ip will be like for the web server yes you can map exactly yes you can map see so what you can do what you can do here you can so for translation we have translation configuration option translation configuration option you can go with static nat configuration option or you can go with 
dynamic net and third option is called pat in case if you are you working with static net concept if you are using static net configuration option for translation so what you can do for example in your lan side you have 20 computers 20 computers so you need 20 public ip 99.99.99.1 dot two dot three dot four and so on 20 so you need 20 public ip 20 public ip now for static net configuration for static net configuration you need to create manual entry for example you can map statically so this private private ip address i'm trying to map with this public ip this private ip address i'm trying to map with this IP address manually, statically. So whenever this machine, this 10.10 .10 machine is trying to go on outside, trying to go on outside, so this machine will always get this public IP address, 99.99.99.1 and can go outside, no problem. If 10.11 trying to go outside, it can get this public IP address and can go outside. Clear my point? Yes. it's called what it is called a static net configuration. Static. static net you are creating entry manually so in case if you are working in a small network small network so yes no problem you can go with static net configuration in case if you have 200 for example 200 private IPs. In case, if you have 200 private IP addresses and if if you are going with static NAT configuration for 200 private IP address translation, if you are going with static NAT, so remember always, first, first you need 200 public IP addresses, 200 public IP addresses, and if, if you are working with static NAT, so you need to create 200 entry manually onto this router device manually you can say or statically you can say you need to create so it's very difficult okay if, if you are working in a big network okay it's like 200 for 200 machine i need 200 public ip address and i need to create 200 entry manually onto this device it's a difficult clear my point yes in that case what we can do in that case we can go with Yes, we need 200 public IP address. Okay, we need 200 public IP address. But in this case, I'm not going with static NAT. No, I'm not going with static NAT. I'm going with dynamic NAT concept. Dynamic NAT concept. In dynamic NAT, what you can do? Yes, we require 200 public IP address. But in dynamic NAT, we are not creating 200 entry manually. No. With the help of single command, we can create we can create a range of public IP address. We can create a pool of IP address. We need 200 public IP address and with the help of single command, we can create a range here. We can create a pool of IP address. We can create a range of public IP address here. So this time, if any machine, for example, if 10.10 .10 is trying to go outside, it can get any IP address from this pool range and can go outside. If 10.11 is trying to go outside, it can get any IP address from this pool range and can go outside. It's called dynamic NAT concept. Clear, Shrikant? Yeah. Thank so you can go with static or you can go with dynamic. But here we have a problem. Here we have a problem in static and in dynamic NAT, we have problem for 200 private IP address we need 200 public IP. That is the issue. For 200 private IP address, we need 200 public IP address. That is the issue in a static and dynamic net configuration. So that's why we are going with PAT concept. You can go with PAT. PAT is called what? PAT is called port address translation. Port address translation. So here you can See, in PAT, what we can do? In PAT, we can translate multiple private IP address with single public IP. 
for example, this is public facing interface. This is what public facing interface. And onto this interface, we are using IP address 99 dot 99 dot 99 dot 100, for example. So we can translate multiple private IP address with single public IP. This concept is called PAT concept. Clear my point? So if this 10.10 .10 is trying to go outside, this machine, this machine will get same IP address and can go outside. If 10.11 is trying to go outside, it can get same public IP address and can go outside with different port number. Shrikant, clear? Yes, great. This concept is called what? PAT concept. You can translate multiple private IP address with single public IP. Now, see, this is basic CSNA concept, okay? But in 148, in 148, in 148, we will focus on, we will focus on firewall policy net. Uh, wait. In 48, we will discuss on source NAT concept and destination NAT. In 48, concept is what? Destination NAT and source NAT. And to configure source and destination NAT, we have two configuration option. We have two configuration option. First, you can say firewall policy NAT. Firewall policy NAT. And second option we have, it's called central NAT. Central NAT concept. It means source NAT and destination NAT configuration we will discuss in firewall policy NAT. And same concept we can implement in central NAT. So what is source NAT? What is destination NAT? Where we can use our source NAT concept? So if you remember this topology, wait. If you remember this topology, so this topology is this topology is what? This topology is for source NAT. Srikant. Yeah. This topology, this what? This this uh, static NAT, dynamic NAT, and PAT concept. These concepts are called source NAT. Whenever you are translating your source IP address, what is okay, wait. What is the packet format? For example, wait, let's 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 talk about packet format first. Okay. So if this inside machine, this 10.10, .10, this 10.10 .10 is trying to access this server outside this server, 8.8.8.8. So what is packet format? Wait. Let's talk about packet format. Uh, segment frame and uh... Packet. No, no, packet format, source IP, destination IP. Okay. I'm talking about source IP, destination IP. So as per as per your task, as per your task, wait. So as per your task, your source IP address is what? 192, 168, 10.10, .10, right? Yes. Source IP source ip source port number destination ip destination port number so source ip this is what 192 168.10.10 .10. source port number 52000 destination ip 8.8.8.8 destination port number 443 so if this inside machine is trying to communicate with 8.8.8, .8 so this is the actual packet. Shrikant, clear, clear? Yes. Shrikant, this is actual packet. And this packet, this packet will travel from here and it will go and hit onto this router device. It will go and hit onto this netted device. So router will create entry for this traffic. Router will create entry for this traffic after that it will remove it will remove this source ip address it, in packet it will remove this source ip address 
and it will put this outgoing interface IP address as a source. So what is outgoing interface IP address? 99.99.100. .99 so it will put this IP address here. And now awesome. this packet, this is the actual packet is traveling to outside. Clear my point? Yes. So into this scenario, into this scenario, we are trying to translate our source IP, right? So whenever you are translating your source IP address, it's called source NAT. Clear? Yes, clear. Source NAT. Now, what about destination NAT? So let's go here. So source NAT is what? Static NAT configuration. Okay, dynamic NAT configuration, pad configuration. These options are what? Source NAT. Clear? Yes. What about destination NAT? Where we can use destination NAT concept. Destination NAT concept. So let's talk about scenario. Where we can use DNAT concept. Wait. Okay, uh, Shrikant, please wait two minutes. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. Shrikant, please wait two minutes. Okay. Hello, Srikanth, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, let's continue our topic. So what is destination NAT concept? Wait, where we can use destination NAT concept? So let's talk about scenario, okay, wait. Okay, so here we have a firewall device, you can say, or any netted device. Okay, let's take firewall here, okay? So here we have a firewall device, and this portion is a DMJ portion, you can say, or LAN portion. So it's a DMZ portion, okay? In DMZ portion, you have multiple servers, like you have a web server, okay? SMTP server, 
DNS server, FTP server. This is what web server. IP address 192.168.10.10. It's a web server. Here, this is what 192.168.10.11. DNS server. This is SMTP server. IP address 192.168.10.12. This is FTP server IP address 192.168.10.30. Okay, and this portion is a public portion, public site. So now into this topology, we can use PAT option, right? Srikant? Yes. Into this yes. topology, we can go with PAT option. With PAT option, what we can do, we can translate multiple private IP address with this single public IP. This is what public facing interface, right? For yes. example, 0 slash 0 interface. And we are using 99.99.100. So in case, yes, we can configure PAT, no problem. If we can translate multiple private IP address with this single public IP. So in, in case, if this inside machine is trying to go outside, it can get this public IP address and can go outside, no problem. But for inside, uh, if the web server, uh, can we assign PAT? PAT, see, ma, see, you, you can, see here you can use any other translation option, Srikanth. But I'm right now I'm not going to focus on server, okay? Web okay. server or DNS or SMTP. Okay, it's not a server. My point is what if you yeah, want yeah. to if you want to translate IP, I'm talking about IP, okay? Yes, okay. Right now my focus is on IP. So if you want to translate multiple IP address with single public IP, you can go with PAT option, no problem. So into the scenario, when traffic is initiated from the LAN site, right? When traffic is initiated from your private network or if traffic is initiated from your LAN side and trying to go onto the WAN side, no problem, you can go with PAT option. But now our task is different. Now our task is different. Our task is different. If in case, now task is what? In case if traffic is not initiated from LAN site, okay, tra traffic is coming from WAN site, for example. Traffic is initiated from the WAN site. So if this outside machine is going to hit onto this public IP address, my point is if this outside machine is going to hit onto this public IP address, then how your firewall will identify this traffic is for web server or this traffic is going to redirect on DNS, or this traffic, it is for SMTP or it is for FTP. How your firewall will decide. Clear, clear this challenge, problem? Yes. Srikant, clear this yeah, challenge? Clear. So into this scenario, into the scenario, solution is what? We can go with static NAT, no problem. We can go with static net. Remember our static net discussion? One to one. Yes, one to one. Yes, yes. So in a static net, we can map. Right now we have four servers. Four servers. So I can I can buy four public IP addresses. Ninety nine dot ninety nine dot ninety nine dot one fifty one fifty one. 152, 153. Okay, so in case if I'm going with static NAT configuration, so yes, yes, I can map. So I can map, I can map this public IP address with this private IP, public IP, private IP, public IP, private IP, public IP, private IP. And, and it's a bi-directional. 
Shrikant, it's a bi-directional. If this web server, if this inside machine is trying to go outside, it can get this public IP address and can go outside. Clear my point? Clear. Or if this outside machine, if this outside machine is going to hit onto this public IP address, so this traffic will redirect on web server. So no problem, you can go with a static NAT. If you have one server or two server, so yes, you can go with static NAT. But in case, if you have 20 servers here, this side, or 30 servers, in case, then first, you need to buy you need to buy 30 public IP in case if you are going with static NAT configuration, right? Yes. Shrikant, you need to buy what? 30 public IP. That, public. that is the issue. Static NAT we can use in a small network, right? For example, yes. I have I have web server only or I have FTP server only. So no problem. I can buy two public IP address. I can map. But if you have multiple servers, then if you have multiple servers, then then we can go with destination NAT configuration. You can say destination NAT. You can say what? DNAT concept. Or you can say static PAT. Static PAT concept. So here you can implement destination NAT concept. So in destination NAT, what you can do? In destination NAT, what you can do? In destination NAT, we need single public IP. We need what? Single public IP. For example, 99.99.99.155. So what is destination NAT? In destination NAT, you can map. Okay, you can map multiple servers. Multiple servers. Okay, I'm not talking about IP address. Srikant. Yes. In DNAT, you can map multiple servers with single public IP. How to configure destination NAT? I will tell you in practical, no problem. But right now, I'm telling you a story. I'm, I'm giving you the idea. So in destination NAT, you need single public IP. Single public IP. And with the single public IP, you can map all your servers. So this time, this time, if anyone from outside, for example, if this outside machine is going to hit onto this public IP address, and if this request is for port number 443, so your firewall will redirect this traffic. As per your DNAT configuration, your firewall will redirect this traffic onto this web server automatically. How to redirect our traffic? I will show you in practical. Okay. Shrikant. Okay. Now, if anyone from outside will hit onto the same public IP because we have a single public IP address here. So if anyone from outside will hit onto this public IP address for port number, for example, 53. So as per your destination NAT configuration, your firewall will redirect this traffic on DNS server. Yes. Or if anyone from outside will head on to this public IP address, and if this request is for port number 25, or if this request is for port number 21, so your firewall will redirect this traffic on SMTP or this traffic is on FTP server. Clear? Yes, clear. Into this scenario, yes, yeah, yes, Srikant, yes, you can ask your question. Here, if you have multiple web server or multiple SMTP server. Uh, sorry, what you have? Means I have two, two web server or two mail server. Okay, if you have two web server or two SMTP server. Yes. Okay, okay, I will tell you, I will tell you. But is this right now, this scenario is clear? Yes, clear. Okay, so into the scenario, 
you are translating your destination IPC, this outside machine is going to hit onto this public IP address. Okay, and you are trans into the scenario, this, this destination IP address is going to translate. That's why you can say destination NAT concept. So I hope this option is clear. Now we have another yes. challenge. Here we have another challenge. Okay, as per your question, okay. We have another challenge in case if you have another web server, right? For example, this is web server one. This is 192.168.10.15. This is web server two, for example. So as per your configuration, as per your configuration, this web server one is already mapped with this public IP address with this port number, right? Shrikant? Yes. yes. So if anyone, or you can say, let's go with FTP server. For example, in my LAN side, I have multiple FTP server. For example, this FTP server is FTP2. This FTP server is for my spatial user, 10.14. So you, so you can see this public IP address and this port number is already mapped with this FTP one. So if anyone, for example, this outside machine, this outside machine will open his FTP application. He can put this public IP address information here and default port number for FTP is 21. So he can put 21 and this traffic is going to hit on this, onto this firewall device. As per your DNAT configuration, your firewall will redirect this traffic on FTP1. Okay, but what about FTP2? This is your question, right? Yes. So what about FTP2? So into this scenario, we can use port forwarding concept. Okay, my point? Yeah. This concept, you can say DNAT DNAT with port forwarding. You can say DNAT with port forwarding. So into the scenario, you can use port forwarding concept. So you can use you can use any unregistered port number here in between one zero two five to sixty five thousand five hundred thirty five. You can use any unregistered port number. For example, okay, I'm using okay, clear. A triple nine. Clear, yeah, Shrikant? Yes, clear. 8999. So this outside user, this outside user will open his FTP application and see, this is not a standard port number. Shrikant? Yes, yes. This is not a standard port number for FTP. So what you can do, you can tell to your outside users. Okay, guys, whenever you will hit onto this public IP address for FTP service, please yes, use yes. port number 8999. Outside user, they don't know anything. They don't know anything. This traffic is going to redirect on FTP1 or it's, it's going to redirect on FTP2. They don't know anything. What they can do, they can open FTP application. They can put this public IP address information and port number 8 and that's it. Okay, when traffic will go and hit onto this firewall device. So as per your DNAT port forwarding configuration, your firewall will redirect this traffic on FTP2. Clear my point? Yes, clear. This is theoretical portion. This is theoretical portion for DNAT concept. Okay, Srikanth, we'll, we'll discuss our lab part tomorrow, okay? Okay, today we'll discuss only theoretical portion, Srikanth, okay? We'll discuss our lab part tomorrow. Okay, dear? Okay. Then uh, I have a question. Yes, you can ask. No problem. In the first source node, uh, in the dynamic node, uh, hmm. not the dynamic node, in the path, hmm. when from the traffic from the LAN side, hmm. it was in the port numbers, random port number. Yes, it will take random port number. Yes, exactly. So Multiple machines you can translate with a single public IP and every machine will get different port number. Okay, okay. okay. That was my question. Yes. Okay. 
Clear? Yes, clear. So please revise this NAT theoretical portion. We'll do our practical tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we'll do our 90 minutes session, okay? I have some work right now. So let's discuss our practical part tomorrow. Okay, Srikant? Okay. Okay. Bye, dear. Take care. Good night. I'm sharing this video, okay? I'm sharing this video. Yes, the last day's video is also this. Sure, I will, I'm sharing, okay? Okay. Bye, dear. Take care. Good night. Hi, everyone. Kavi students have a lot of time for live sessions. So, what we have done is that we have uploaded our live training sessions on YouTube channel. You can upload Hindi videos and English videos. You can upload your own technology. For example, ASA, Power Alto, Fortinet. CCNA, CCNP. आप YouTube चैनल पे जाके सारी इनफॉरमेशन को चेक कर सकते हैं। अगर आपको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर के बारे में रिव्यू पता करना है कि कैसे रिव्यूज हैं हमारे पास स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट के तो आप गूगल पे जेंटेक नेटवर्क्स टाइप कर सकते हैं और ये हमारा रिव्यूज है। अप्रॉक्स 700 रिव्यूज हमें मिले हुए एक एक स्टूडेंट्स की से फॉर एग्जांपल आपको फाइवल के रिव्यूज आपको वेरीफाई करने हैं राउटिंग स्विचिंग के रिव्यूज आपको वेरीफाई करने हैं तो 4.6 की रेटिंग है हमारे पास और 696 अप्रॉक्स 700 रिव्यूज हमारे पास हैं स्टूडेंट्स के तो फाइवल के रिव्यूज या नेटवर्किंग के रिव्यूज राउटिंग स्विचिंग के रिव्यूज एथिकल हैकिंग साइबर सिक्योरिटी लैब रिलेटेड रिव्यूज आप यहां पे वेरीफाई कर सकते हो आप वेबसाइट पे भी जाके इनफॉरमेशन को चेक कर सकते हो वेबसाइट पे हमारे अपकमिंग बैचेस के लिस्ट आपको मिल जाती है अब मैं आपको YouTube चैनल पे बताता हूं कि अगर आप YouTube चैनल पे जा रहे हो और वहां से आपको कोई वीडियो बाय करना है परचेस करना है तो आपको चैनल जीतू जायसवाल पे जाना है और थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन हम 10000 सब्सक्राइबर पहुंचने वाले हैं थैंक यू सो मच ओके okay, आपको प्लेलिस्ट पे क्लिक करना है और यहां पे प्लेलिस्ट की इंफॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल है देखो आप पॉलो ऑल्टो पे चले जाओ सिस्को एएसए वायशक 48 40 मैनेजर पॉलो ऑल्टो इंग्लिश या हिंदी सेशंस की वीडियो सारी अवेलेबल है अगर आप सीसीएन है सीसीएनपी सीसीएन पे सिक्योरिटी सीसीआई राउटिंग स्विचिंग सारी वीडियोस आपको यहां पे अवेलेबल मिल जाएगी आपको अगर इन वीडियोस को बाय करना है परचेस करना है तो आपको ज्वाइन बटन पे क्लिक करना है देखो मेंबर ओनली कंटेंट है यानी जो हमारे चैनल का मेंबर है वही इंफॉर्मेशंस को यूटिलाइज कर सकता है तो आपको ज्वाइन बटन पे क्लिक करना है ज्वाइन बटन पे क्लिक करना वो आपको यहां पे दिख रहा है और यहां पे क्लिक करके आपको देखो हमारे पास दो ऑप्शंस हैं एक तो आपके पास हिंदी वीडियोस के लिए ऑप्शन है दूसरा आपको इंग्लिश वीडियोस के लिए ऑप्शन है तो अगर आप हिंदी वीडियोस वीडियोस के लिए देख रहे हो तो मैं उसका ऑप्शन आपको बता देता हूं आपको प्लेलिस्ट पे जाना है या इंग्लिश सेशंस की वीडियो को देखो आप आप जैसे मैं फॉर एग्जांपल पॉल ऑल्टो पे क्लिक कर रहा हूं यहां पे मेंबर्स ओनली कंटेंट आपको दिख रहा है आपको ज्वाइन बटन यहां पे जो दिख रहा है वहां पे क्लिक करना है मेंबर्स ओनली कंटेंट आपको दिख रहा है यानी सिर्फ मेंबर्स होंगे वही इन वीडियोस को एक्सेस कर सकते हैं ज्वाइन बटन में जब आप क्लिक करते हो तो देखो दो ऑप्शन आपको दिखेगा एक दिखेगा फॉर ऑल हिंदी वीडियोस यानी आपको 799 पे करने हैं और जितनी भी वीडियोस हिंदी से रिलेटेड पड़ी हुई है यानी पॉलो ऑल्टो 48 चेक पॉइंट सिस्को एएसए सीसीएनए सीसीएनपी वो सारी वीडियोस आप सिर्फ 799 में एक्सेस करके देख सकते हो अगर आपको इंग्लिश रिलेटेड वीडियोस को देखना है ये तो सारी की सारी हिंदी वीडियोस की हो गया अगर इंग्लिश रिलेटेड वीडियोस को देखना है सो आपको 199 पे करना है और ये सारे वीडियोस है नाउ आपको पे कैसे करना है आपको जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल मुझे इंग्लिश रिलेटेड वीडियोस को परचेस करना है तो मैं ज्वाइन बटन पे क्लिक करूंगा और यहां से मैं पेमेंट करके मैं एक्सेस कर सकता हूं जैसे आपने पेमेंट किया तो जितनी भी इंग्लिश रिलेटेड वीडियो है जैसे कि मैंने आपको दिखाया कि जो भी टेक्नोलॉजी की वीडियो है वो सारी आप एक्सेस कर सकते हो ये पेमेंट का मेथड है आपको पेमेंट करना है बाय करना है और फिर आप चैनल पे मेंबरशिप ले सकते हो थैंक यू सो मच गाइस अगर कोई भी क्वेरीज होगी तो आप हम आप हमारे नंबर पे हमें कॉल या मैसेज कर सकते हो